Hi, it's Peggy Lee, and I'm here with Day 5 video. And actually, this is Day 5, Take 2 on my video. I have a start-to-finish video um, for Day 5, but for some reason, it's not uploading to my computer, and I'm having a really hard time with it. So I thought I would quickly just do a real short video just explaining what I did, and um, hopefully um, the other video, my husband can get it to upload for me and uh, you can see me do from a start to finish and this is a page out of my um, mixed media journal um, that I'm doing for Marion Smith's 31 day challenge and um, it's 31 days, 31 videos, or 31 journal pages it's either or um, uh, videos or journal pages or your artwork you just have to be consistent with what you do and I have chosen to do the 31 videos and journal pages, but I'm kind of combining mine both. And this is um, a journal book that I created. Um, and for this one, was is 31 journal is for my artwork. It's for techniques that I'm learning and whatnot. Um, I'm also going to be doing the 31 Marion Smith 31 journal where I will print off her digital prints and make a journal too with my photos, uh, everyday photos. So I took took a page out of my book, my art book, and I wanted to really learn about some different techniques and learn some um, different um, things um, in the creative process in the artwork and mixed media, scrapbooking, stamping, and also um, I had talked about how I have a lot of Marion Smith scraps left over from the books I did last year. Um, for her, so I wanted to start, um, and I'm going to scrapbook with my scraps on these layouts, on some of my layouts. So first, what I did was, is I took, um, let's see, I took some gesso, and I just took my um, palette knife, and I just like, I laid out my photo. I cut my photo down. I cut my photo down to I think it's like three by five by four and a half or something like that. I cut my photo down and, and I really, it was a kind of a funny picture and I thought it was kind of fun and cool. Of my girl, of my two girls, Emily and Olivia and their friend Michaela, which is, she's my girl too. And um, they were just fooling around with the camera one day and I loved the photo so I wanted to use it in my mixed media journal. So I started off with some Claudie Hellman Studio Gesso and I just kind of like hit it here and there on the on, on the page and actually by the time I added everything some of it got covered up but that's okay I'm learning technique that's the key and then I took some oh before I did that I took a bunch of glimmer mist and of course um, I took first I took uh, Color Wash Espresso, which is uh, Anirondack, and I what I did is I just opened up my um, nozzle and I just flicked, flicked little spatter prints all over the page. I did that in that color, and then I did it in Glimmer Mist in Juneberry, and I did it in Glimmer Mist um, Aquarium. Glimmer Mist Graphite, which is a really beautiful gray. Oh, so luscious. I love that color. And Olive Vine. And I did that. I just sprayed on them. And then I took Olive Vine and great, uh, Graphite. And I sprayed and made, made it run. And um, it was really fun. So I'm learning new techniques. And that's what another part of my videos and my uh, January was I wanted to do more art more techniques, learn more things, watch a video from someone else and redo it. Um, then I took Walnut Stain Walnut Stain Distress Ink and I inked around the edges and then I took again my favorite new color which is Tin Can which is by Prima and I inked around the edges of that as well. Then I grabbed my black archival ink and I had just bought these new, well, they're, they're not new, but they're new to me. They're Tim Holtz um, Mixed Media Collection of stamps. And so I took this and I stamped all over my background, added some really cool texture, added my photo, tucked in um, some of Marion's scraps um, 
digital prints and I used a punch and punched out some of it added some leftover trim that I had laying around this is a butterfly from the February collection of Marion Smith it was on this collection if you wanted to know where the collection was it's the February collection for 2012 and then of course I grabbed some Prima flowers that I had laying around and some Prima bling and of course no scrapbook layout would be complete <laughs> or any project of mine without mother of pearl vintage buttons and I have this huge jar let me go grab it real quick this is one of my many jars a vintage I got this jar and it was filled to the rim a vintage mother of pearl buttons that's all that's in here and some diamonds and or you know little costume jewelry all of this for like five dollars in California when I lived in California I miss California I miss California um, I got to say the antique store for five bucks what a steal believe me on the East Coast you cannot find these deals for five dollars no way so anyway so I added my mother of pearl buttons so it's I love I after that I added these little um, I wanted a title which was kind of funny I wanted to say see because they're all looking at something and these, I've had these in my stash forever. These are making memories, creative letters, and they're Scrabble stickers, and they're supposed to look like wood. I've had these, I don't know, I wanted to say five, five years. So, because I'm trying to dig out of my stash and, and use some of my stash. So I popped up, I cut them out and put them on black cardstock, and then popped them up for some little dimension. And that's it. And it was really fun and easy, and and it was a great way to learn a new technique without feeling overwhelmed because it's a small. Um, I think um, my book is seven by nine, but I think my pages are like six and three fourths by by um, uh, eight and three fourths, or 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 eight. You know, I I did it a little smaller. One of my pages a little smaller than my book, which is seven by nine. So I really like how it turned out and um, it's kind of fun and I'm hoping I can save my video from start to finish because I really like to have the process of how I started and, and where I went from there. But if not, this will have to do for day five and um, stay tuned. I have day six and day seven to load and uh, have a good day. Thanks.